Hey y'all, welcome to fourth grade, chapter four, lesson one. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So we are finding two numbers the quotient is between and then estimating the quotient. Um, we are just going to find the numbers that it is in between, okay? So three goes into five. One time, one times three is three. I'm gonna go ahead and subtract this, okay? Two is smaller than three. I'm gonna bring down my other three, okay? Three is gonna go into 23 seven times for 21, subtract and get two, okay? Now, because there is a remainder, it means that your quotient, which is just the answer to a division problem, is between 17 and 18. That's all that means, 17 and 18, okay? All right, let's do the next one, okay? You don't actually have to finish that out just because there's leftover means we're gonna add another one, okay? All right, so four goes into seven one time for four. Subtract and get three. Three is smaller than four, so I'm gonna bring down my five. Four will go into 35 eight times for 32. When I subtract, I get three. So this one's gonna be between 18 and 19. Okay? Not bad, guys. Okay? All right. And do one more. Okay? Nine is not going to go into two. Placeholder. Nine will go into 21 two times. Two times nine is 18. I get three left over. Okay? Three is smaller than nine. I'm going to bring down my five. And nine will go into 35 three times. Three times nine. 27, it's gonna be eight, okay? So, between 23 and 24, okay? So, you had between 18, oh, oh, sorry. So you have between 17 and 18 here? Nope, between 18 and 19 there, sorry guys. Oh no, that one was right, 17 and 18. This one's between 18 and 19, okay? And then this one is between 23 and 24, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and you guys are gonna do through 10, you totally can, I believe in you. We are gonna do number 11 together. Says Joy collected 287 aluminum cans in six hours. About how many cans did she collect? So inside that box is going to go 287. Outside that box is going to go six. Okay. Six is not going to go into two. It will go into 28 four times for 24. Subtract and get four. Four is smaller than six, so I can bring down my seven. Six will go into 47 seven times, which is 42 and have five left over, okay? So, if we were to round this 47, sorry that you guys can't see, sorry about that, okay? So if we were to round this 47 to the nearest 10, it would go to 50. So your answer here is going to be about 50 cans. Okay? All right. We're going to do another one. Okay? This says, Paul sold 162 cups of lemonade in five hours. So 162 goes inside the box, five goes outside the box. Okay? All right. Five is not going to go into one placeholder. Five into 16 is going to go three times. Three times five is 15. Subtract, get one, bring down our two. Five will go into 12, two times. Two times five is 10, subtract, get two. So if we were to round this to the nearest 10, it would be 30, okay? So about 30 cups per hour. It's asking how many cups each hour. So 30 cups per hour, about. Okay? 
Show your work, guys. It's important. Okay. All right. We are going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check and we're going to do the final review. Okay. All right. Number three says 12 boys collected 16 aluminum cans each. 15 girls collected 14 aluminum cans each. How many more cans do the girls collect than the boys? So 16 times 12. 12 boys, 16 cans each. 15 girls collected 14 each. And then we're going to subtract to find the difference. Okay? So 2 times 6, 12, carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. We're going to tick, tack, toe, and then 1 times 16 is 16. We're going to add those together. So 192, okay? All right, the next one. 4 times 5, 20, carry the 2. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 more is 6, okay? Tick, tack, so 1 times 15 is 15, okay? Add them up, 0, 11, 2. So now we're going to write in 210 minus 192, okay? So 0 cannot take away 2. I'm going to borrow 1, making it 10. 10 take away 2 is 8. 0 can't take away 9. I'm going to borrow 1. 10 take away 9 is 1. And 1 take away 1 is nothing. So 18 cans. Okay. Not too bad. Write down your work. Okay. All right. Number four on the back side under spiral review says George bought 30 packs of football cards. There were 14 cards in each pack. How many cards did George buy? So it's going to look weird when I do it, but you'll see why in just a second. See that zero right there? I don't want to multiply everything by zero, so I'm going to take it off and put it there. That's why I put the 30 on the bottom. Now 3 times 4 is 12, carry the 1, and 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, 420 cards. Okay? All right. Sarah made a necklace using 5 times as many blue beads as white beads. She has a total of 30 beads. Okay? So, okay, blue beads. Okay, so blue beads, she had five times as many, and we're just going to use the red for white beads, okay? But all together, she had 30 beads. So we need to take that 30. We need to divide it by the number of boxes we have total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll get our answer. Well, I know that five times six is 30. So it's going to be five. So each one of these boxes is worth five then. Okay. How many blue beads did Sarah use? Blue beads. Five times one, two, three, four, five. Five times five is 25. 25 blue beads. There we go. Okay. This year, Ms. Weber's class flew 145,000 miles on business. Last year, she flew 83,125 mi 83, miles on business. How many more miles did Ms. Weber fly on business this year? So, one, four, five, zero, 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 subtract, because we need to find the difference. Okay, so now let's find the difference. Zeros cannot take away any of those numbers, so I'm going to borrow one, making this a 10. But I need to borrow one of these, making it a 9, and making this a 10, and I need to do that one more time. There we go, okay? 10 take away 5 is 5. 9 take away 2 is 7. 9 take away 1 is 8. 4 take away 3 is 1. And 14 take away 8 is 6. 
61,875 miles. Okay? All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 4.1. Come on back for 4.2. See you soon.